Hi, I'm Gretchen. I'm from Bayview Home Care. I'm one of the respiratory therapists here. Today we're going to go over an air compressor, which we use with trach patients. This is what gives them the humidification. Since they're going to bypass their natural ability to humidify the air, they usually use an air compressor. So the way this works is this is your power button here. This is the meter, the manometer that shows where we set it between 25 and 35. This is your water bottle. We always use distilled water here and you fill as needed. You have the corrugated tubing and you have the drainage bag which hangs down at the low point that helps the water drain into the bag. So those are all the parts that you're gonna need. Other than that, you're also going to use, this attaches to the trach collar or the trach mask. So you will actually have to cut the tubing that comes in the package. You are going to change this out once a month, which will be the tubing, the water bottle, the drainage bag, and the uh, trach mask. So let's go with uh, how to operate this machine. You turn it on. So the mist is controlled by two things. It's controlled by the uh, manometer here. So again, we set it between 25 and 35. So the mist is coming out now, if you can see that. If I pull the knob out and then I can turn the dial, it's gonna get stronger. Once I set it with, some, with how I like it, I'm gonna have to push the knob in and that locks it into place. The other way we can adjust the flow is if we open up the entrainment, you see it gets loud, the mist gets fine, and it's giving with a lot more than they need. So we usually set this at a 60 by the arrow down here. I'm going to turn this to 60, and that's going to give them enough. But those are the two ways you can play around with to try adjust it to make it comfortable for the patient and give them the moisture they need. So make sure you're always using distilled water in your water bottle. You can turn this off when you need to refill it. You unthread it, pull the water bottle off, pour the water in, rethread it. And that's how you would make your adjustments. Always double check after you do this, and maybe once a day, is to make sure this is threaded on tightly and that your um, elbow here is on nice and tight too. So that is how to operate the machine. The next one we'll go over is how to check the filters.